Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, in Dunyana County, we've reported that the Crisis Triage Center, which closed its doors several months ago, has now secured a comeback with local psychiatric hospital Peak Behavioral Health. Yes, yeah, Selena, you were able to speak with law enforcement about that new partnership and some rules that they're changing to be able to better serve the community, right? Yes, I was able to speak with two of the largest law enforcement entities in the county. That includes Las Cruces Police and then the Dunyana County Sheriff's Office about how it's going to impact them. Take a look. We are looking forward to the law enforcement portion of it to cooperate fully in getting people treatment instead of incarceration. It's going to be a big plus for the county. Commissioner Susana Chaparro right there, highlighting the need for the crisis triage center, specifically for law enforcement to utilize in Doniana County. But for the Doniana County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Kim Stewart says that need was easier said than done because they weren't allowed to take people who didn't want to stay. They could not take uh, those in protective custody. And we tend to encounter people where we do more often protective custody than not. Now that the Crisis Trio Center is preparing to reopen following a new contract with local psychiatric hospital Peak Behavioral Health, the county's Health and Human Services Director Jamie Michael says that issue is being addressed. She says when it reopens, we can do both voluntary and involuntary admissions. It will be much easier for all law enforcement, including the Sheriff's Department, to utilize the, the facility. While Stewart says Dasso only utilized the triage center about 15 times last year, data shows Las Cruces police took 178 people. Chief Jeremy Story speaking with me about the situation, saying while they utilized the center as much as they could, they ran into the same issue Stewart is talking about. The way the crisis triage center was prior was only for voluntary patients. So. You know, we're limited in the opportunities to take someone there, but anytime somebody was willing to go and was in crisis, that's where we would take them. Before it was a huge resource, now what with Peak Behavioral Health, once we get to the point where we can take everybody that's in crisis there, voluntary or involuntary, it's going to be uh, a great resource. That's something we've been trying to do for like three years. Both Stewart and Story talking highly about their past experiences with Peak Behavioral Health and say they're looking forward to this new partnership. I do want to say that we have a great relationship with Peak Behavioral Health and that's something that can't always be said between law enforcement and you know behavioral health services. We, we have a lot of trust in them and so I'm actually very excited to see them take on this contract. I think we're going to see a lot of success moving forward. We've been in partnership with them before when we had to seek alternatives for protective custody. So uh, we've been in a great partnership with them. We are thrilled they're going to be there because we know the product. We know their skills at delivery and they are what they say they are. Some good changes coming there in Las Cruces. And Selena, when is the triage center actually going to open? Yeah, I followed up just yesterday just to make sure that we have the most current update for you guys at home. The county already, we know, got the green light from county commissioners who had to vote on this new partnership. So currently, the county tells me it doesn't have a timeline or an opening date as they are still finalizing some final details and going through the licensing process. But as soon as we have an update for you, you can count on us to bring you the latest both on air and online at